Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today it is a crazy life. We are defrosting this freezer. It's making me crazy. It's frosting up in here, stuff up in here, and it's dirty. And this is a new freezer, refrigerator, that I've only had for a couple years. But it's gross, too. Like down there, and then over here. So what I'm doing is I'm pulling it out. That stuff doesn't need to come out, but it will when I go to clean it. But look in here. Ugh. I want to defrost it. My ice maker's not working good. Stuff on the top is freezing. So I'm getting ready to pull it out. I'm going to put towels behind it and in front of it. And we're going to hope for the best that nothing in, that I don't get a flood in my kitchen. Right? Right. All right. Let's all get right. Moving. I got it all cleaned up. Um, I did remove from those two drawers, everything washed to the drawers out. And then I lined all of my condiment sections with, um, it's, it's drawer liner, I'll show you the package. But I also lined, like this is where I keep my vegetables, my cheese, these things, just to keep them fresh. I even put my egg cartons through the dishwasher. The fridges, up to 58 degrees and the freezer is going down to 19. I took everything out of here and gave it a good scrub too. I even took the vent off the bottom. So I'm hoping that this does the trick. Plus with the holidays coming, I really wanted to um, refresh my fridge and kitchen. This is what I cut up. It is fridge and bin liner. And it's this fabric here, it's absorbent. And these were not expensive at all. This package, I wanna say was like $2.99 or something at Marshalls. So, and it's easy to cut with just regular scissors. So now I will clean up all this mess. And then we're gonna pull out next, probably pull out the stove and scrub behind that but i have to wait until i can put my food back in the fridge and make room i just you know with two cats and the holiday baking and cooking i just wanted to make sure i had everything really clean i already scrubbed this counter even bleached it it's just a mess right now but um you know when you're cleaning that's how it is but I did scrub everything over here. Uh, I even gave my coffee maker a good scrub and I will scrub this corner next, the counters. So I'll take everything off. I use some bleach bathroom cleaner just on the countertops and clean the stove. And then it's the floor. All right, let's go. All right, guys, I found this in my neighbor's trash and I'm gonna spray paint it and use it for my woods for winter. Here we go. All right, step one, a light coat. We do lots of lots of light coats to get the color saturation that we want without dripping and running. Dubby, what you doing sleep? Oops, sorry. What are you doing sleeping in the basket? Dubby, hey. What you doing sleeping in the basket, sir? That's not your bed. Yes, may I help you? What do you need, Alex? What is it? What's your brother doing? Him sleeping? He'll smack you. Hi, Alex. Aw. Sir, you are so adorable. How did you get so cute? Here you go. Alex, what, what are you doing? I'm making videos, sir. Crazy cats. Hi, guys. I went to Dunkin' for an iced coffee and I just came out of Costco. I might have went a little crazy. Maybe. Okay, I did. 
I spent $166, but I got a big thing of toilet paper. I also got, if you can see it sticking up, snake tongue plant. I love it. I've been wanting one, and this was a really nice looking one. So I grabbed one of that. That was $24. I don't count that as my grocery budget, but they had a lot of keto stuff in stock. They also had a lot of stuff that was not in stock, like butter. They had unsalted, but not salted. So what I'm trying to do right now that I have my refrigerator all clean. I'm gonna finish up my kitchen this afternoon. My hair's a mess because I'm not gonna bother washing it and doing it. I'm gonna be scrubbing my kitchen. But I wanna get it all finished, um, clean, cleaned up, like deep clean. So then when the holidays roll around, like Thanksgiving and Christmas time, and I'm cooking, everything will be clean. And I also am stocking up on some bake good, baking goods because they tend to go fast. So I got, excuse me, a keto brownie mix. It's a box of three actually. And when I was at Walmart yesterday getting some other groceries, I picked up um, chocolate chips, Lily's brand. So they're sugar-free. They're made with like erythritol and stevia, I think, but they had mint chocolate chips pumpkin spice chocolate chips and salted caramel so I can make some desserts for you know the mint chocolate chip I'll save for Christmas and I think I'll put them in the brownies and we'll see but I grabbed these keto bars to try I love a bar especially how busy I am and with my work life these are great to take to my second job just to have something when I get hungry and I thought that was an olive for a second but it's not it's a pumpkin seed so let's see what these look like um, nutrition wise, they have uh, nine grams of carbohydrate, but four sugar alcohol. So they're five carbs, which is not terrible for a, a convenience food. So I'm going to break a piece because this is hard and it's nuts and seeds in here. Not bad. Mm, that's good. That'll be good for meals on the go. A little dry. I copy. And they were price wise, they were not bad. I think they were $18. $17.99. But you got 16 bars. So that's less than a that's less than two dollars a bar. That's just a little more than a dollar a bar, really. Mm-hmm. That's a good price. I can taste the vanilla. Mm, it's good. So when I I'm on the on the go, like yesterday working football, these are good to have. Because I can just snack and go. So I need to go home. Put these groceries away. And then I need to go to cost. No, I just went to Costco. I need to go to Aldi. I need salad dressing. Cream for my coffee. Or half and half. And. See what else I have. I don't know. But I have really. Eaten out my. Refrigerator. And my. Storage. Of food. Mostly my refrigerator food. Um, so that I could clean out and defrost my refrigerator. So now I'm just restocking. That's all. So I'll spend a little more budget wise this week than I typically would. Like a lot more than I typically would. But I'm also trying to stock my refrigerator back up. Like I literally ate all my eggs. All my lunch meat. All my cheese. No I had cheese. But I had no like food food I know vegetables left so I did get cucumbers here the little tiny mini ones I love just snacking on those and also I like cutting them up and putting them in a salad which I'm gonna make for lunches this week or some dinners grilled chicken like grilled chicken Caesar I got pre-done grilled chicken and I grabbed some little a package of little mini artisan uh, romaine lettuce heads which I really enjoy in a salad cucumber onion and some dressing call it dinner call it lunch um yeah so I got all that kind of stuff that I've just let myself run out of on purpose but and then my plant 
<laughs> I'll show you when I set it up, but I'm getting ready to drive on the real road, so I will be back. Morning, it's Monday morning, and I just look like a hot mess. I got up late. I had a scheduled appointment at eight o'clock for my COVID booster vaccine because I'm diabetic. I qualify in Ohio. I don't know if it's federal for the booster. So I got that this morning and my flu shot. Pray for me. One of them is going to kick my butt. I'm not sure which. Then I decided I needed coffee because I'm out and awake. So I went to go to Starbucks, but the line is super long. So I went to Panera. I don't know if you don't have these in your area, but they're like um, a bakery kind of place, but they have really good coffee. And I had a gift card kicking around and I had free coffee. I think I have enough for almost another free coffee left on my card. Because I don't eat carbohydrates, um, I don't come here often, like never. Um, but they have really good food. They, they serve food too, like pizza, they have sandwiches and soups. Um, if I had to say East Coast Obon Pain, it's a very similar restaurant to that. And they have really good coffee. Now what we're doing, because I'm right next door to a Dollar Tree, I'm going to go into the Dollar Tree. I haven't even showered yet this morning, guys. I feel so gross. I'm going to run home. Or I should just tell you. Keep my secret. I scheduled my shots for 8 a.m. and forgot. And I woke up at 8.49 and went, oh my gosh, my shots. It was fine. Um, when I went to schedule, there was it's the pharmacy that gives them in CVS, the pharmacist. There was openings all day. There was nobody there. So I was like, I'm so sorry. I had to apologize a hundred times. And she's like, girl, you're fine. I said, okay, well, I don't like being late and I don't like missing appointments. But what are you going to do? I'm done. So I have one in each arm because I need to be able to function. And I figured if I get them both in the same arm, my arm is going to ache and it's going to hurt and it's going to be miserable. And I don't work today. Okay, let's not hit me, sir. Let's not hit me. Thank you. Um, today is technically Indigenous People Day, Columbus Day. I think we're changing the name to Indigenous People Day. It is not a work holiday for me. Now, I think it might be a federal holiday if I had to guess. Uh, but for me, it is not a holiday. I'm just driving to the parking lot. Traditionally, this is not a day off for me. Um, at the bank, my area would work. But uh, last year sometime we merged with another bank. You know, mergers and acquisitions, it happens all the time in the world. So we merged or, yeah, we merged, this was a merger with another bank and that bank was called TCF, they're in the Midwest. So we have a merger and to legal, the legal day that it trans transitioned was a few months ago, but today is the day that all of our computers and stuff transition together. And so we can't be there working because we have nobody can be on their computers. Everything has to be shut down so that they can transfer information and stuff, which is fine. So we got a bonus day off and yeah, I'm going to go to lunch later this afternoon. I did a little more deep cleaning yesterday. I cleaned my, um, I don't know if I had any footage of it. I don't think I did. My vent over my stove. I took the screens out and soaked those and I scrubbed up in there. It wasn't terribly bad. I don't cook, I don't do a lot of frying and oiling, but it was, it needed clean. So I scrubbed that down. Um, that LA's awesome. The yellow stuff is amazing on grease. Now, I would probably wear a mask because it's it's a chemical, but it's amazing on grease. That and the Brillo, like the um, the rough, it's cold, it's warm. You warm it up to make it soft, the scrubbies. That and the uh, Totally Awesome with a little dish soap got all the like yuck out from under there. So that's totally clean. Um, yeah. So next, I think I will be, I already did my coffee pot, but I heard you can put denture tabs in your coffee maker. I typically just run vinegar because of the hard water. So I need to get a gallon of vinegar while I'm in here to 
run through my coffee maker, not a gallon. I'm not using the cleaning vinegar, I'm using the consumable vinegar because I will be consuming the water that comes out. But I need to do my tea kettle and I need to do my coffee maker. That's my next deep clean. So I'm at the Dollar Tree now. I'm gonna run in, grab some vinegar and see what they have. I'll be back. I found some fun stuff at the Dollar Tree. It's, did I tell you it's Monday? It's Monday, I'm off. I think I told you. Walked into my Dollar Tree down here, which is always hit or miss for me, which is fine. They were putting out Following's Giving Miss. They were unloading all the seasons. I found some cute, now not everything I've seen Christmas-wise, but I did find the Halloween bottle brushes. I don't need them for Halloween, but I got two black ones for Christmas because I'm doing the red and black. And so I have two black bottle brushes. I'm so excited for that. And they put out some new stuff, some really fun tree toppers for the little miniature trees. Um, I did grab two of the green trees. I've only seen in my store the white and I don't want the white, but I also found some fun stuff. So I don't know if I mentioned, I don't know half the things I say, guys, sorry. I'm do going to do this year after Christmas like a winter snow theme in my house with a snowman and that way I can leave my tiered tray up that I'm putting out at Christmas it's a new tray this year that was given to me um, I can leave it out for winter and it's um, I'll just redecorate it but I can leave the actual tray out for winter because it's a uh, raw iron snowman from Longenberger I, I know they don't make them anymore. Sister-in-law dropped it off to me and I said, oh, I need that. Um, so there's that. And then what else did I get exciting? Oh, the Jingle Bells, the white ones. I'm gonna spray paint those navy blue for winter because I'm going with like a blue and silver and white kind of theme for winter time. I'm not gonna go overboard like I do for Christmas, although who knows. But I found some cute stuff and some new stuff. And that's what's exciting. They're putting out new things. All right, we're gonna have to hit another Dollar Tree now before I go home. And I'm gonna drink my coffee. Because it's really good. Although, I came out at an odd time today. Because I got my shot at nine o'clock. And, oops, went to the store at 9.30. Oh. Hi, lady. I was talking to a woman in line and she subscribed to my channel right then and there, which is fun. Um, <clears throat> so 9.30, it's kind of before the morning rush, but after the work rush. And so the coffee was at the end of its life in the little thing with the spigot at, that keeps it hot and it, I got a bunch of grounds in it which I do that on my own so I'm not mad about that I just got rid of them I haven't even had breakfast yet guys and it's 10 15 well I guess it doesn't matter about breakfast because I'm going to lunch at 12 30 with some co-worker friends so there's that all right I'm gonna hit one more Dollar Tree I don't know if they have anything out this one is a terrible Dollar Tree but it's on my way home Sometimes I get lucky and hit it before everything has been wiped clean. But I feel like my luck this morning was this Dollar Tree because she was still unpacking. The good thing was she was unpacking fall stuff that I already had. So I didn't need to worry about waiting around or bothering her. Um, she had already finished all the Christmas ornaments that they have so far. Um, I cannot find a couple things. One, it's the wooden cutout and it says believe with a Santa hat. I need those in my life. The little wooden that, uh, laser cuts. Oh my gosh, I need those. So I'm on the hunt for those because I think they would be so cute. And I'm on the hunt for the metal rings to go under the Christmas tree. Ideally, I would like red, but I, you know, whatever I find, I can make it work. Um, they're tree collars and they're metal and I have not seen hide or hair of them at my Dollar Tree so we'll see I'm a little stuffy this morning I'm having some allergy issues as usual that's the other reason I am deep cleaning my house because my allergies have been so bad so yesterday oh more deep cleaning I washed my pillows that's an important thing 
and I never think about it. And I have these two pillows that I love the pillows. They were given to uh, myself and my mother years ago. It's that My Pillow Guy pillows. Oh, he's kind of falling off his little rocker, but whatever. I'm not here to talk about that. I and I didn't pay for them. They were given to me, and they're fantastic pillows. And so. Um, threw them in the wash and it took a while to dry but oh they're so big and fluffy again and I love a nice fluffy pillow not that you care but I'm trying to get the cat dander also out of my bedroom because I think that is causing me allergy issues and dust so I want to scrub under my bed and I want to um, get all the cat fur that gets up underneath there you know life cleaning housework I want to get it done before the holidays so I can go into Christmas and Thanksgiving able to relax and enjoy the season and not feel like I'm having to clean my house. If that makes sense. Guys, I don't know. I'm babbling at this point. Let me go into the next Dollar Tree. Hopefully we'll find some more fun stuff. And maybe we'll do some more spray painting today because I love spray painting. I like spray paint all the things and I already have navy blue spray paint which is perfect for my jingle bells. And then I will put the, the white, or I'll put the greenery back on top. So I'm just spray painting bells. I did spray paint, I need to show you that basket is finished. It's in my house, it's next to my fireplace, and I had a couple pieces of wood left from last winter that I put in there, and I'm gonna love this. I'm wondering if it needs a bow, but I doubt it. I'm not really a bow fan, plus I just, I mean, I, I am a bow fan, but I feel like it's overdone sometimes. Um, and I think it's just another thing to collect dust that I don't need. All right, I'll be back. Happy Sunday morning. This vlog, guys, is a mess. It's over like two weeks. I know, sorry for the weird lighting. I'm in the car, I'm headed to Lancaster, Ohio, or as I like to call it, Lancaster, Ohio. I don't pronounce that right either. Um, I'm gonna hit the Dollar Tree there because, yeah that time and next door is a TJ Maxx that I would like to go I'm looking for Christmas gifts so I'm getting anxious I'll share with you my anxieties y'all can feel with for me or call me crazy because I do I've been watching CNN mistake number one watching the news but they're talking about the supply flow and the delays in cargo ships and getting merchandise and all of that I don't care about the reason it is what it is but I'm nervous that we're gonna come up on the holiday season and there's not gonna be a lot of options so I'm trying my darndest to get major purchases done for people now which is not out of character for me anyway to want to have Christmas done and in the books like as far as gift buying of the major purchases before Thanksgiving really I love to have be done in October it's not a necessity but I just enjoy the process so anyway um and I don't have a huge list my two siblings sister-in-law niece cousins like it's not huge I mean maybe 15 people that are all different value of gifts the kids the teenagers they're all getting cash from me because really that's what they want cold hard cash they want to go shopping they want to buy their own things and I'm okay with that at this stage of life you know they are like 15 14 14 16 19 yeah they're teenagers they want to shop so I'm good they're done cash is ready I'm just gonna find some little candies or something to put with the the cashola I'm not even giving them gift cards or getting cold hard cash done Sarah my niece, she's really never done until, I don't even know when. I don't have a limit or a budget or anything for her. I just buy what I like and I give it to her. And that's okay too. And then my sister-in-law, I did get one present for her, which I'm excited about. I just need a couple little add-on things for that. My brother, Mike, we bought him something. So he's done with my older brother and I actually went together and got that. So he's done. So yeah, I'm doing good. I have a couple sewing projects that I need to do. So I should go to Joanne and get the fabric today for that. And I just need lining fabric for most of my projects. 
pretty sure I have the outside fabric. Outside. Yeah, so I'm just getting anxious about that, and mainly because of the cat food situation. I've been whining about this all year, but yesterday, or I'm sorry, last week, I went to Target, and that's where I can typically find their wet food. I mean, it's not them, it's Wellington. He's my 14-year-old, and he will only eat Sheba Perfect Portion Seafood Pate. That is it. Everything else, he turns his nose and walks away. And I can't have him not eating. He's not really eating the dry food anymore. I mean, a little bit, but not really. And he's losing weight. And I'm just not willing to make him. And that's on me, but. So I was at Target and I found a few cans, but they were out of the big boxes. So I went on to Chewy.com. And Chewy is a website, if you're not aware, that sells all pet food products, everything. And they used to have freaky fast delivery. Like if I ordered it this morning, I could get it tomorrow. I know, it's crazy. It took a week and a half to get my box of cat food from them. And they were out of stock on most of the cat food as well. He will eat chicken. He will eat, he will not eat the beef, period. He will eat some chicken. So I, I do get him a little variety. But for the most part, I just get the different seafoods for him. So I ordered two, oh, I ordered what I could get. One big box and a few variety of small boxes. Got that in. And then I was like, you know what? Let me check Amazon because it's intermittently in stock not in stock so I ordered two big boxes from them so right now I have a two month supply if I feed them twice a day each of them gets half a can the big boxes come with 12 cans it's kind of a math you know not kind of it is math I do the math they get two each of them gets one half can a day so two cans a day and the big boxes come with 12 cans or 48 servings so they have about a two month supply right now because I went on to Amazon and ordered two cases. I was able to get two of the big 48 box. So my plan moving forward is when I'm at Target, when I'm at Walmart, when I'm out doing whatever and I see it, I'm just gonna buy a box. Making sure that the, the good through dates are, you know, I'm not gonna go too far out. But I'm, I don't think I'm panic buying because I'm not buying 30 boxes. But I am making sure that as I utilize it, I have a refresh supply. So that's really, nobody cares. But that's it. <laughs> that's what I'm doing with the cat's food. It's just nerve-wracking to me. And so I'm taking that anxiety of their cat food and I'm transferring it over to like Christmas and gift buying. And it's just crazy. And it's little things. Like yesterday I was at Costco with Sarah my niece I keep having to say that because I get a lot of questions but Sarah and I were at Costco um it she doesn't have one in the town she lives so she swings by drops the dog off at my house and then we go they do not sell the cat's food or I would buy it there but the toilet paper the big packs which I needed were down to limit one again so it's kind of it's making me nervous that things are happening so it's limit one of the toilet paper I don't need bottled water and all of that, but I did get the toilet paper because I needed it. But they didn't have my peanut butter. They were out of stock on the seaweed crisps, the little squares of seaweed, which I love. They were out of stock on that. Several things that I typically buy, they were out of stock on, which I mean, it's not the end of the world, but again, it's just a little, these little signs that tell me. So I am attempting to, um, just get my Christmas done. Get the big stuff out of the way. Get the major purchases. I mean, I say major, but it's really not. I mean, other than Sarah, I do like a $50 to $75 for the adults and the kids, you know. So, but that's my budget. I don't expect everybody else to, to fall into that budget. That's what I budget throughout the year to spend because I enjoy Christmas and I enjoy gift giving and especially with my cousins she's like my best friend and she and I I mean we do for each other all the time it is definitely a mutual give and take but I love her and I love her children and her husband and the family and so I want to I want to do things for them you know and that's where we're at so 
I'm gonna sit here and let this car go. Then I'm gonna pull in, there's a five below here as well. Might as well go in there, see if I can find any stocking stuff, because I do enjoy the stocking stuffers too. And then I'll show you what I bought when I come back out. Okay. All right, I'm back from shopping. I got some things I can show you and some things I can't. The things I can show you, look at these Halloween nails. This is the nails I wear all the time. I just put some Halloween stickers on these. And when I have long, sometimes, I mean, I do paint my own nails as well. But right now I'm wearing these. And these are Impress. These are Press-On Nails. These are limited edition Halloween. They were $4.99. And I love them. And I'm super excited. I think they're going to be a little long, but I can deal with them for a week for Halloween. So I grabbed those. These aren't even in here. They're in the wash. Um, I need base. These are base layer. So long johns, long underwear um, for a couple reasons. One, when I go backpacking, they're handy to have because I freeze when I sleep. So I grabbed the pants. And if you see these size, they run pretty big. I got an extra large and they're a little large for me. But it's fine. I wore them for today to see if they would be warm enough. And they do keep me warm. And also, when I work the football games, I need um, I need long johns when it gets close to the winter time, when the November games get very cold. So I'll wear these under my uniform pants. And I need to get a shirt too. I didn't find the shirt. Twelve ninety nine. I did see them on Amazon for thirty dollars. I got them at TJ Maxx. And these are a Canadian brand. I looked up the reviews. They got good reviews. So these are normally $40 in Canada, $30 in the U.S., but I got them for $12.99. I know they have shirts, and the shirts that I saw were not the warmer, the warmer ones. I want the warmest that they sell. So I may end up getting like a different brand, like a Cuddle Dud or something for the top, but it's it doesn't matter. I just need to be warm. I don't care. So I got those. <gasps> Look what I found. I love the skinny syrups. This is skinny girl or yes. No, these are Jordan's skinny syrups. And it's salted caramel mocha. Christmas, I think this one's Christmas cookie. And this is peppermint mocha or peppermint bark. Yeah, peppermint bark. And they're sugar-free. Um, and they're a decent size too. You get three bottles for $6.99. I get them, I got these at Marshall's and I purchase them fairly regularly. I don't, I use very very sparse. I don't use the recommended like tablespoons. I just use a couple teaspoons, but I wanted the Christmas, the holidays one. I just finished up vanilla caramels. So I'm out, but like I will use these for Christmas time and then save them until next year. I won't use them all in the holidays i'm trying to see if there's like a good through date or a best buy but i felt like on the bottles i was good to keep my pumpkin ones from last year i finished those up this year so that's what i'll do i'll use a little bit of each i'll set them out on my bar and then what's left goes in my cabinet and i'll pull it out next christmas and then i got and I purchased this kind of regularly there. I have a second bag in my fridge that I haven't opened. But it's erythritol, but it's golden. So I don't need a lot of gold of brown sugar, but this has that brown flavor to it. And this bag was $3.99, and you get 8.29 ounces. So it's honestly no more expensive than when I buy a 16-ounce bag of it. It's usually like 8 or $9.00 which I'm having a hard time finding at Costco. Back to my, I'm not finding all the things. I'm I'm fine for right now, and I can always order it online, but I grabbed it because I saw it. And then I got a Goo Gone in a spray. Usually I buy this at the Dollar Tree, but you get like one ounce for a dollar or two ounces, I can't remember. But this is 12 fluid ounces, and it was $4.00. And I like that it has the spray. I waste so much of this when I buy it from the Dollar Tree, pouring it onto the labels when I want to get something goo gooed off. I This is great stuff. I love it. So it'll be great to keep under my sink. And when I want to clean something that is goopy, I will have it. And it'll last a very long time. 
And I think I have one more thing that I bought. Oh, I do. It is air freshener that smells like the forest. So this is sandalwood and cypress. It smells like a Christmas tree. I love it. And I will spray this all over my house all winter because I do not have a real tree because I have allergies. And it was only $4. Now I do know the ones that I get, the room sprays from Bath and Body Works are the best. I usually just walk around and spray my tree with those, but we'll see how this works out. So that's what I got for me <laughs> while I was out Christmas shopping today, but uh, the pants were definitely a necessity. I'm gonna call these nails a necessity because they're Halloween and we're coming up on that. So my next set of nails, I will put these on. And I was on the hunt for the skinny syrup and I got the last box or the first box. I'm not really sure my store, you never know with Marshalls, but so these were all things that I thought I needed today. All right, guys, so this video is pretty long. Oh, I did want to show you. I never showed you the finished product. That is the basket that I spray painted black. That's all the wood I have currently, but it'll be full of firewood once... I get it. <laughs> I have to go pick it up. All right. Have a good one. Bye.